guys, Karma Light Reading. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. This is a soul journey, soul guidance reading. I'm using Work Your Light Oracle cards. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of see what is your soul calling you to do? What path are you on? This is going to be from July 2019 to six months in the future. This is for my air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So the first card is your present time. Where is your soul? Where is your spirit at at this present time for my Aquarius, Geminis, and Libras? Where are your spirit and soul at at this present time, air signs? Air signs, present July 2019. So presently, some of you might be feeling really alone, okay, air signs, um, and kind of lost and at a standstill, and we have a reminder here that you're not alone. Spirit is letting you know that you have so much behind you, souls and spirits who have come here to earth before that are connected to your um, ancestral lineage. Um, and, and you're not alone, okay? Um, and, and they're called the keepers of the earth. They're souls who chose to stay in the soul form, but but to still come, they reside here on earth and they help us and they help us heal and they help us through very difficult, um, difficult situations. So presently, air signs, you're feeling alone and spirit is letting you know that you're not alone, okay? Um, what is your soul calling you to do right now Aquarius Gemini and Libra soul calling I just need one card spirit soul calling for my air signs So your soul right now is calling you to dance, air signs. So what that means is to go with the flow, okay? To shift your vibration, shift your frequency. You have been doing something repetitively or in a cycle over and over and over, and they're asking you to stop. It's time to get out of the hamster wheel and do something to shift your vibration so that you can get off of this path that is holding you back, okay? So that is currently what your soul is calling you to do. What is rising inside of my air signs souls? What is rising? What's coming up after they have accomplished this shift? What's rising? What are, what are they feeling? What's that, that feeling that they're feeling? What's rising inside of their soul? For my air signs, what is rising? Your true calling is rising inside of you, and that's why some of you are feeling alone, and that's why you're being asked to shift your vibration, because you guys are going through something right now that is very difficult, um, and you're kind of feeling stuck and lost and in the dark. But that's because right beneath the surface, when you shift, when you get off of this hamster wheel of what you're going through, what's up next and what's rising inside of your soul is your soul calling, is you being able to, to get on the right path of knowing what your calling and your mission is here on earth, okay? Air signs next is what is falling away. What is currently falling away from your energy? What's falling away from my air signs? Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. What is falling away? This is so funny. What's falling away? Can you see that? It says take a break, get off the treadmill, which I'm going to say is pretty much the same as the hamster wheel. So I can't make this stuff up, people. So air signs, you're really feeling exhausted. You're noticing something that is repetitive. You, you're you noticing that you're like exhausted and you're not getting anywhere. You're like doing the same thing over and over and over and over. It never changes. It's boring. It's annoying. You're getting sick of it. Your life has been on the same track for how many years? 
So what's falling away is that that's all about to change because you're going to shift your vibration, which is then going to take you to the call to what your soul is calling you to do because this is going to fall away. You're not going to be on this cycle anymore and you're going to take a break. You're going to get off that treadmill and realize that a life's work is not a season. It's not for a short period of time. It's our whole life. We're consistently learning and evolving and changing. We are not supposed to stay in the same cycle over and over and over. What are your soul gifts, air signs? What are the soul gifts that are coming for my air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Soul gifts for air signs. Soul gifts. going to lose your fear. Your soul gift will be that you will be able to help people and yourself lose your fear of change and evolving. Lose your fear in general. You will become a healer. You will have the power to help heal others by, by being able to tell them about your story and what you went through because you are going to learn how to heal yourself and you will not be afraid anymore. You're gonna lose that fear of letting go and you're going to be able to bring that to other people and to help them. Manifested, what is being manifested right now within you air signs, what is being manifested? Air signs, so because, because your soul gift will be a healer and losing fear, what is manifesting inside of you is the knowing that you are light, the knowing that you are spirit and who you are and having a true deep knowing and acceptance and understanding of who you are and that you have been training for this and prepared for this for many lifetimes because you are spirit and that you do know how to do this. Once you connect, you will be able to fully understand this. Some of, some of you might not right now might not understand what this means, but if you go back and listen again, Spirit is giving you a step-by-step -step on what to do to move forward, to advance to that next level that you're trying to get to, air signs. Again, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So being manifested right now is the knowing of who you are and knowing that you are light and knowing that you know how to do this. Okay? The next step. What is the next step? in my air signs, soul journey, and soul guidance. The next step. So the next step will be more healing. Mirror, mirror is the next step. Some of you might be meeting your twin flame or you might be um, getting in a relationship with somebody who's like your twin flame, but the next step is who or what is triggering you, okay? So your next step in this soul journey is to recognize the feelings that you get right here when something happens that you don't like. When something happens and you shift from a loving, compassionate point of view to an angry, frustrated, worried, anxiety, stressed, anything other than love, you need to focus on the feeling and ask God, why is it here? Because you need to know why is it triggering you and how do I heal it? So that is the next step for you air signs is you need to work on recognizing your triggers, recognizing your emotional and energy blocks that need to be transmuted and healed within so that you can continue to move forward. So what is your past life influence air signs? What is your past life influence past life influence aquarius gemini libra past life influence is the knowing how to fill up your well so what influences you the most is refueling retreating from your past lives you know 
how important energy work is. You also know how important it is to shield your, your, your aura and to shield your energy. You understand that you can be affected by other people's vibe. Okay, so what is influencing you is the understanding of how important it is to take care of yourself, self-care, self-love, okay? And I feel like that's probably something that's followed you or been, you know, something that was, was very prominent um, either in a family, like knowing how to do self-care or in, in past lives. So the next card is what do you need to know? What do you need to know? And what you need to know is that you are a spirit. We have um, uh, pleiades, which is you a double mission. Your spirit having a human experience. So what you need to know is that that yes, you are here for a reason. You do have a mission, um, and a lot of it has to do with uplifting humanity and and rising our collective consciousness to a new level. And that what you need to know, air signs, is that you need to work through these things so that your light can be a part of raising the vibration and the conscious level here on Earth in the 3D, okay? Um, your hopes and fears. What are your hopes and fears, air signs? Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Hopes and fears. This is going to be one thing that is not only something that you are hoping for, but something that you're also fearful of. <laughs> you're already doing it. So your hope and your fear is exactly what you're doing right now, which is working on yourself, right? Is your hope and your fear is that you already know that there's more to this. You're aware of that but you're not going any further than what you know because it's also a fear. Um, and they're telling you to stop overthinking. Just keep facing north. Keep facing true north. Overthinking is off of vibration. That's a negative low frequency. Stop it, okay? Stop it. So air signs, wait a minute, there's a card that is, air signs, our last card, but I see one that is already flipped over. Our last card, is um, going to be the potential outcome. Hold on, because I know there is another card that you know. Oh, I guess not. Okay. So what is the potential outcome? If you stay on this path and you listen to this guidance, what is the potential outcome here for the air signs Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra? Potential outcome. Self-love, nurturing yourself. It's the star mother. And the outcome of this is that you will have integrated your light into your wounds and your, your inner turmoil that you need to heal so much in past life, ancestral things, that you will have nurtured yourself much like a mother. And you will have healed yourself and, and will be able to experience why you are here in your mission and your joy and your true fulfillment and purpose. Okay, air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, that is your soul journey, soul guidance, soul mission reading. Um, please let me know how this resonates with you. Um, I hope that you like my video, share my video if you have other air sign friends, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, guys. See you later. Bye.